Hi guys and welcome to the Team Tiny Christmas in July video hop. I'm Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I've joined the Team Tiny team for a hashtag driven hop. Don't know what that is? That means that you click on the hashtag in my video title to find the other folks on the hop and there are a lot of them, all sharing fun projects featuring the digital stamps from Joy Claire Designs. I want to first thank Martha at Joy Claire Designs for sponsoring this hop and to thank Team Tiny for letting me participate. Team Tiny is a group of small YouTube channels that are helping each other grow their channels to over 1,000 subscribers. You may have noticed that I'm already over that threshold. So after this hop, I'll be moving on and joining the grads of Team Tiny group. The card I'm making today is a window pop-up card using the Holly Jolly Santa digital stamp set. This set comes as a zip file including a JPEG, a PDF, and a PNG file. I didn't think to record how I cropped and resized them, so I'll need to do that uh, video later on. However, there are several ladies in this hop that I've seen do that on their videos using a variety of software. Of course, if you have any questions about my process, email me or leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to chat with you about it. This Santa is sized about 3 inches and the bag of presents is about 2 inches tall. I decided to use my Spectrum Noir markers to color these and picked out some traditional Christmas colors. Sometimes you just have to play. So I colored away while watching some YouTube. I started off with the reds for his hat and coat and pants using DR5 for the dark tone, DR1 for the light, and DR3 for the mid-tone. I also pulled out my colorless blender to clean up a couple of places where the red bled outside the lines. Later I'll go back with a white gel pen to clean it up better. For his boots I used IG8 for the dark IG5 for the lightest and IG6 for the midtone. I don't really think the IG5 showed through much since it was such a small space. For his little gloves, I'm using AG4 and AG3. To his nose and cheeks, I added some FS2 and blended that out with FS1. I tried to add a little bit of shadow under the fluff of his hat, but there really wasn't any room. And he looks pretty cute without it anyway. Then I added a little bit of gray with IG1 to his beard and the fluff on his suit, and then blended that out with my colorless blender. This just adds a tiny bit of dimension to that flat white surface. Next we'll work on this sack of gifts. I used AG4 and AG3 for the ribbon that's holding the sack closed. Mm -hmm. 
For the sack, I started with DR5 in the areas that I felt would need the most shading. Then I went over that same areas with DR6 to make it darker. What's really funny is that I can never seem to get the blending done the same way each time. I've covered several of these bags and they are all different even though I use the very same colors. I went on with DR3 as a lighter shade and then with DR1 for the lightest. Yes, I know, I need to practice more. I finished up coloring the presents and used TB3 for the last one. That finished up the coloring and I cut out the images using my scan and cut. Now for the pop-up. To create the mechanism, I followed a recent video from Jennifer McGuire and I loved how it came out. However, my video messed up the first time around, so I'm making a new pop-up to show you how I created the first. First, I cut a window from the front of my card base, then I took an extra A2 panel and cut a quarter inch off the end, giving us a five and a quarter inch panel. Then I turned the panel in my trimmer and cut the other side to one inch. Next, I'm going to score that one inch panel at three quarter inch, two and three quarter inches, and four and a half. At this point, I realized that something was wrong, but I didn't figure it out until after adhering it together. And that was after I had checked my notes a few times. So I folded on all of the score lines and you can see the mechanism. Can you see my mistake? to use some double-sided tear tape to adhere everything down but you could use some strong liquid glue for this too on the end uh, with only one fold I added adhesive and then opened the card and lined up the edge of the to the center of the card where I wanted it to go then I closed the card this will adhere it to the inside of the front of the card Next, we put the adhesive on the last section of the mechanism and fold it at the second fold flat against the front of the card. And again, we close the card against the mechanism. Now, this is where I figured out what was wrong. Although this will still work, the pop-up is taller on the right than it is on the left. The mechanism should have measured one inch by four and a quarter, not five and a half. So the correct scoring on that four and a quarter piece would be three quarters, two and three quarters, and three and a half. Once the mechanism is in place, or even before adhering the second part down, you can place your pop-up in place. I made sure to have Santa peeking out the window before adhering him down. To decorate the front of my card, I cut another window in an A2 size card panel in the same place that I did on the base so that they'll line up. Then I took the brick wall embossing folder, inked up the raised mortar lines with Memento London Fog ink, 
and ran that panel through my um, big kick die cutting machine. I love how that turned out. I adhered it down with tear tape and adhered the window frame piece in pieces in place using Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive. I also cut an extra frame and adhered that to um, the other side of the front. At this point, the sun started coming through my window. You can see the shadows of the palms um, blowing around. Now, it only got worse and the video kept getting darker, so I deleted that part of the video. So here's the finished card. I added a lamppost die that I shaded with that Memento London Fog ink and a Merry Christmas die cut sentiment to the front and then added some Wink of Stella to the sentiment. That finishes up the card. Thank you for joining us for the Team Tiny Christmas in July video hop. I encourage you to visit all the other crafters in the hop because I know they will have a lot of inspirational projects for you to see. I would also love to see what you create. So come and share your creations in my Facebook group. Here are some other videos that you may be interested in. Thanks for dropping by and remember, if I can make it, you can too.